Okay, so I've been trying to record this video basically like twice. Like there was technical difficulties and just like pure acting dumb. And I'm gonna be honest, I wanted to be super positive like Apple Vision Pro. But I, since I'm not feeling that way, I'm just gonna put the energy down to like a two and we're just gonna go through with this. Apple recently had their press release that they have every single year for all of their different types of products. Which, when I say different products, it's usually the same thing, but with a different chip or thinner. Yeah, so we got the iPad Pros. We got the new MacBook Airs, which low-key are like MacBook Pros. But then the only thing physically that I saw that was kind of cool was it's going all over the internet. The Apple Vision Pro. What's cool about it? A lot of people might be saying, Caleb, so... The Apple Vision Pro is literally the Oculus. Why Why are you, do you even care about it? It's just going to have a half your price tag. And in some cases, you might be right, you know? But the thing that I thought that was kind of cool was how close to sort our online we are with this new technology with the Vision Pro. So the one super cool distinctive thing that I've seen so far was that you don't need to mess with any nunchucks. You know, like the, the, the stuff that with the Oculus. And the thing that I didn't really like about that was that how you always had to press the button. Sometimes I would forget the button placement. And I know some people say muscle memory, you'll just remember it. I, I Maybe it's, there's this, it's not idiot proof. Like I would <laughs> press some of the buttons. It just wouldn't work. I didn't like it, you know? Just gotta be honest, I didn't like it. But the Vision Pro, what I did like, especially what I've seen from the releases and all other people's videos, was how basically all you have to do is use your hands. Like, you know, it, it's kind of weird how you have to kind of do a little like a tappy tap thing, but conceptually, it's pretty sick. Get this, a 3D optic camera with multiple cameras around, which it can just recognize when you make a motion, it eye tracks your eyes. It's the closest thing to Eincraft. You know, like in SAO, when Kirito got stuck in Sora Online, it's the closest thing that I've seen so far to it. And honestly, they released it a year early because I'm pretty sure they want developers to kind of develop more apps for it and all that stuff. So basically, they're pay piggybacking off of other people's work to support the product. Nice. But if I had to be honest, like, I think that there is a lot of potential with it. But the only issue that I'm seeing is the price tag. It, like, you know, barrier of entry, yes, okay, it's a metal cased version thing of uh, beauty. You know, it's sick. It looks cool. But then if I'm going to have to buy something like that for $3,500, just have to be honest, we're probably going to have to start a Patreon that we all just kind of just start throwing money towards it so your boy can afford it so we can go review it. Because I'm just saying right now, my red's not even that high. There's no damn way I'm going to buy this mobile freaking Ironcrad VR headset for like $4,000. But if you guys want to start GoFundMe on it, hey man, at the end of the day, man, shit, link down below. I'm capping. So what is in particular makes me kind of excited about the Apple Vision Pro? I think what I really like the most is kind of seeing the whole, there's like a dial on the left or right side. I don't know. I didn't touch the product, but like there's a dial that basically you can tune everything out and just kind of just be immersed with what you're doing. Now, the only issue that I kind of possibly see is like with motion sickness, because the thing that I didn't like about the oculus when i had one was or when i used one was that like after like 30 minutes of like being immersed you start feeling sick and then it's the gimmick starts feeling less cool and more feeling like oh i'm about to throw up and i don't want to really feel like that when we're in the vision pro especially if it's like four thousand dollars like overall i definitely think there's a lot of cool things to kind of come of it but I, I am still kind of uh, scared about like kind of figuring, you know, you know, indulging in this. But the coolest thing that you guys can definitely see from my anime watches out there is that you can see, you know, your your freaking favorite anime store online, uh, Private Neverland, let's say Black Bible. And like the full HD, super sick, super big, super massive, super amazing, amazeball. So... Honestly, let me know what you guys think about the Apple Vision Pro. Personally, I think that it's a pretty cool piece of software, but how much it's costing, I'm not really feeling it. You know, I know that it took a lot to make it. But I'm just saying that can you can you make it a little bit cheaper? Bye-bye. It's just a little bit cheaper.
Just make it affordable so people can actually mess with the software. But I'm like, overall, I definitely th really think that it's going to be something kind of cool. Or I already know online on Reddit and everything, people are kind of messing with it. You're doing cool things. But yeah, let me, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Just so that we can kind of start a little conversation between me and you about this. And hopefully, maybe we might actually like it. But... For the most part, since I'm late to the game with this video, and especially, like, with everything going on with my recording, like, dude, like, I just want to go and get my two cents out there. If I can get trapped in it on some isekai shit, man, dude, it's going to be freaking amazeballs. But since obviously we're not at that point yet, this is, this, uh, it's a good start. It's a good start. But, like, it, it's definitely is something that is super cool that I'm going to be looking at from afar since I can't afford it. But, yeah, uh, Apple Vision Pro, super sick. Guys, make sure to slap the like on the video if you guys like the video. Make sure to drop a comment down below. And make sure to write the word with Shanga. That's how I know if you guys made it to the end of the video. And after these videos, we're, I'm going to start shouting you guys out in the comment section so we can start conversations. So, that's it. See you guys next week.